Welcome back, everybody. So this segment, we're going to talk about designing your dream life. Think about it. What do you dream of? What do you hope to do with your life? Well, it can all start with scissors, glue, and a clear vision. And we have the CEO of FEMEX Quarters, Jesse Medina, joining us this morning. Jesse, good morning to you. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me here. I'm so glad to have you on because, you know, 2021 is just a couple days away and I think everyone's ready for a fresh start and, you know, we want to do it right this time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm so ready for a fresh change and, you know, some things will be gradual, but I'm excited to, you know, be dreaming and thinking of positive things and setting some goals. Okay, so Jesse, you guys have a vision a vision board workshop that you're gonna be putting on, but we get to talk to you before that starts. So let's talk about a vision board. First of all, explain to our viewers what that is. Yes, yeah, so a vision board is essentially a board that you create where you're putting there your biggest dreams. In this case, it's going to be the biggest dreams for the year. And so, you know, when it comes to vision boards, it's really important to do it the right way and to really gain clarity. I think the number one thing when it comes to vision board or even setting goals is that you need to have a clear vision of where you wanna go and where you wanna be. Right, to think about what do I wanna do with my life just seems overwhelming. So how do people start? What's some tips that you can give our viewers? The number one thing I tell people all the time is decide how you want to feel. Because sometimes we think that we want this or that, but that might not be what we actually need to be to feel happy or feel content and so decide how you want to feel next year is the number one thing and every time you're setting goals every time you're creating a vision you're writing on your journal anything like that try to figure out how you really want to feel because when you're going after that feeling then you're going to start aligning yourself with the things that are going to help you get there and know the things that you think you need ah. so that's the step number one is having the clarity to know how you want to feel this year. And especially if 2020 was super hard, as I'm sure it was for <laughs> everyone, you know, think, you know, do I want to feel peaceful? Do I want to feel happy? Do I want to feel abundant? Mm -hmm. Think of that first. Okay, and I think you have a sample to show us of one you're working on, right? Just to give us a visual yes. idea of a visual. So this board. is work in progress. I always do mine before the workshop, but I still have a, about another week to finish mine. But it's really important that going back to the feeling mm -hmm. that you choose things that are going to make you feel good when you walk by your board, when you casually, you know, are in okay. your room and you look at it casually, you want to make sure that it makes you feel a certain way. You want to feel that, you know, you are getting that new job, you're starting that new business, whatever it is. How does that feel for you? Can and you, um... the science behind that is kind of what athletes do, right? When they envision themselves winning the game, they think about the way they're gonna feel when they, you know, make that dunk or whatever it may be. And that really helps, and it's been shown scientifically that it really helps you perform better. And so when you're looking at your board, it should make you feel a certain way, mm -hmm. positive, you know, happy, driven right to go and get your goals yeah. and that's the main point so make sure it's really visual that you have a lot of pictures and if you want to have words that's great but make sure they're big words you know that it's, it's still like a visual thing mm -hmm. it's not something you're going to be reading like a paragraph or like a book and so if you want to have highlight words or like the word okay. of the year that's great so wait but make sure you... it has a lot of pictures that make you feel the way you want to feel jesse can you pull your board up again i saw was it a globe yes. right in the middle yes. Just I mean, point out what like you... i said it's work in progress so i'm very handy okay. like pictures and stuff and like do you want to learn how to play guitar is that what travel that? i mean travel is really ambitious right now <laughs> but you know <laughs> one can dream right so um so yeah so that's you know that's kind of like what i recommend okay we do have some photos in our website of like previous uh vision board yeah. parties and we've actually had a lot of success people always come back because they say that whatever goals they set the year before they accomplished them and so it's been a really fun experience that's a good one, because in 2022, it'd be great to be able to say, oh, did that, been there, done that, based on your vision yes. board. And real quick, if you could tell us about the workshop, when is it, how do people get involved in this? Yeah, so the workshop is a lot of fun. You can go to my website, jessimedina.com slash events or femexquarters.com slash events. And pretty much it includes everything for you, so you don't have to worry about anything. We have tons of magazines, subscriptions that we uh, get throughout the year and we save it for this event. So we have anything from entrepreneur, lifestyle, health, fitness, 
you name it, Oprah. And so you have most likely anything that you want to find on there. We also recommend that people, if they have something specific like their family, you know, they have to bring a picture of that, of course. And you, we provide everything, all the materials. It's going to be safe. It's going to be following any guidelines that we have at the moment, of okay. course. And, you know, everybody will be wearing a mask, more than six feet apart, et cetera. So um, we're just tr doing it a little bit differently this year. And we, you know, if we have to comply with anything and, like, take it virtual, we'll do that. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Everything is kind of, you know, <laughs> work in progress. <laughs> but I'm just really excited to have everyone, especially this year, with everything that has happened. A lot of people have lost a lot of hope, and we've been hosting a lot of workshops for entrepreneurs, for remote workers, you know, doing online co-working, just giving people a way to you know, stay sane during this time. And one more thing I do want to say about uh, vision boards is that we have a clarity activity that we do that helps you journal. So we do journaling and we help you find clarity in your goals to make sure that you're designing something that you really, really want. And we don't fall into the trap of doing something because we think that's all what we have mm -hmm. or because other people expect that from us or because we think we need to do that. So we really dive in deep and, oh. and really like look within and decide, is this something I want to do? Okay. Is this my dream? And that's how I even got Fem Exporters. That was on my vision board in 2018. And you so, were and I got it, it like months later. Jeff, so. we are out of time, but I'm so glad to have you on this morning. Thank you. you. I feel hopeful already just by talking to you. Good. I would love to see you there. You're invited. <laughs> okay.